Detecting flaws and failure in concrete structures and highways is obviously a crucial procedure. One of the most common causes of concrete degradation is called the alkali silica reaction, or ASR. This occurs when fluids in cement mix with silica in the concrete and form an alkali silica gel that expands due to moisture. This expansion causes a network of microscopic cracks that develop before signs of failure are visible. For years, diagnostic tests to detect cracks required the use of radioactive compounds viewed under a black light. But researchers George Guthrie and Bill Carey of the Los Alamos National Laboratory's Geology and Geochemistry Group have developed a simple, environmentally friendly test that identifies two ASR gels using a colorful, easy to interpret staining technique. The stains work by reacting with, with the elements that are present in the material that breaks concrete down and those materials have elements that are different from the material that's supposed to be in concrete and so when the elements in those materials react with the, the liquids we pour on they form colored stains that, that show us where the elements are in the concrete. After taking samples of concrete in areas of concern, researchers apply yellow and pink reagents to the broken samples of a concrete core. On contaminated concrete, stains will appear to reveal the presence of ASR. These stains can reveal the extent of ASR in the concrete and also indicate the stage of progression. The yellow color shows us the beginnings of this degradation process. And eventually the yellow material will turn into the pink material. So when we see both the yellow and the pink together, we know that the, the degradation process has progressed to such a point that cracks will begin to develop in the concrete. This method, which is being marketed as a field test by James Instruments, Inc., is also more reliable than tests of the past. It is much easier to visually examine because it's visible in normal light. You can see what parts of the concrete are reacting, how they're reacting. You can see the distribution of the gel. You understand uh, how far it's moved, the extent of its reaction, and that gives the researcher or even the average person in the highway department a much better tool for analyzing what's going wrong with their concrete structures. Science Today is produced by the University of California, Office of the President, and is aired nationally on the CBS radio network. For more information about the program, visit our website at www.ucop.edu slash science today.